Hey everyone, this is Harshil from the Contentful Developer Experience team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all the steps of creating a Gatsby project with Contentful and deploying it on Gatsby Cloud. For this project, you're going to use the Gatsby homepage starter. This starter contains a lot of sections and is highly customizable. You're going to set up the project locally on your machine and host the source code on GitHub. Once the source code is available on GitHub, you are going to use Gatsby Cloud to deploy your website. So let's get started. The first step is to create an account on Contentful and create an empty space when you do so. Next, head over to your terminal and run the command npx gatsby new followed by the name for your project and the link for the starter. Next, navigate to the project directory. Now run the setup command. In this step, you will need tokens from Contentful to connect your project with your Contentful account. You will need the space ID, content management access token, as well as the content delivery API access token. Head over to Contentful and click on settings and select API keys. Click on the add API key button on the top. Copy the space ID and paste it in the terminal. Next, we need the content management API access token. So head over back to Contentful and select content management tokens. Click on generate personal token. Enter the name for your token. And click on generate. Copy this token and keep it safe in a secure place. Paste it in the terminal. Again, make sure you don't expose this token. After this video, I'm going to revoke this token as well as delete my space so that my tokens are not exposed. And lastly, we need the content delivery API access token. So head over back to Contentful. Select content delivery slash preview tokens. And click on Gatsby homepage starter one. We're going to use the tokens that we created in the previous step. Copy the content delivery API access token and paste it in the terminal. The setup command creates the content types that are required for the project and also adds some dummy data. So if you head over to Contentful and click on Content Model, you will now see all the content types that are required by the project. Let's check out the Homepage Hero content type. This content type contains a short text field with the title kicker, a heading field which is of the type short text, a subheading field, an image field, a text field, and a links field. Let's go to content and see what content does this particular type contains. The kicker field contains Gatsby plus Contentful and the heading field contains Gatsby Contentful homepage starter. We also have an image, the text, as well as some links. Let's run the project locally. Navigate to localhost 8000. You can now see your website up and running locally. Let's go ahead and update the content. Head over back to Contentful and add some text to the subhead field. Make sure to publish the changes. Now that we have updated the content, we need to restart the development server. Let's go again to localhost 8000 and refresh the page. We now see there is the subheading as well. This looks good. It's time for deployment. You can host the source code on GitHub. GitLab or Bitbucket. For this video, I am going to use GitHub. 
click on the plus icon and select new repository. I already have entered the information required to create this new repository. I'm going to make this a public repository and I'm going to click on create repository. This will create an empty repository on GitHub. Next, I'm going to add the origin. and push the source code to GitHub. If I come back to GitHub and refresh the page, we now have the source code available on GitHub. The next step is to deploy it on Gatsby Cloud. Make sure you have an account on Gatsby Cloud and it's connected to your GitHub account. Click on Add a Site and select the project repository. Leave the default value for the basic configurations and click on next. HP recognizes the data source and suggests us to connect it with Contentful. So go ahead and click on connect. Click on authorize. Select the organization and then the space. Click on continue. On success, you will see that Gatsby has set up the build webhook, has created new environment variables, and has also configured the preview extension. Next, go ahead and set up the environment variables. For this, go back to Contentful and go to settings and API keys. Over here, you can see the API keys created by Gatsby. Let's go ahead and use that. The space ID is going to remain constant throughout the space. And we are going to copy the content delivery API access token for build variables. You will now set up the preview variables under the preview variables tab. The first is the contentful access token. This is going to be the content preview API access token. Copy the content preview API access token and paste it in Gatsby Cloud. The contentful host is going to be preview.contentful.com. And we are going to copy the space ID again from contentful. Click on save to save these variables and click on build site. This will trigger a build and once the build is successful, Gatsby will publish our website on this URL. The build is complete and our website got published. Let's go ahead and check it out. Congratulations, you successfully created a Gatsby project with Contentful and deployed it on Gatsby Cloud.